Welcome back to the Jesse Tree Advent Series. Today is the eighth day of Advent, or December 8th. And today we're going to begin talking about a character that we know very, very well from the Bible, Moses. We met him when he was a baby in the basket. But he is going to go on quite a long, long journey for God. And today, God is going to speak to him in a very unusual way. When Moses was a man, he left the palace. Pharaoh was still being mean to the Israelites. Moses tried to protect them, so Pharaoh tried to kill Moses. Moses escaped from Egypt. He went to a place called Midian and became a shepherd. One day, while Moses was watching his sheep, he saw something strange. A bush was on fire, but it wasn't burning up. From inside the bush, God spoke, Moses, bring my people out of Egypt. Take them to a new land that I will show you. This new land is called Canaan. Moses was worried that Pharaoh would not listen. God told Moses to throw his staff on the ground. When he did, the staff became a snake. God told Moses to reach down and grab the snake. It became a staff again. God said, I will use signs like this to show Pharaoh I have sent you. But I cannot speak very well, complained Moses. God said, do not worry. Your brother Aaron is a good speaker. I will send him with you. So Moses returned with Aaron to Egypt. When they arrived, Moses told the Israelites what God had said. I'm not sure how I would respond if God talked to me through a burning bush. But Moses knew. Moses knew that God was speaking to him and that he was standing on hallowed ground. He even took his sandals off and he listened and he followed God. So today, if you are making your Jesse tree ornament at home, make a bush that is burning. I made mine out of felt. You can make yours out of construction paper or anything else that you might have around the house, craft materials. And when you hang it on the tree, remind yourself to always stop and listen to God. Because what God has to say is very, very important. How about we take time for a prayer? Lord, may your spirit be nearer than breathing, nearer than any part, nearer to me than my own two feet. May you forever live in my heart. Amen. Amen. 